Hello, this is Candace, and I'm preparing my intro for you guys. I used to have an old YouTube account under Mariam, but that no longer exists because my friends that are non Muslims, I want them to view this video, and they only know, know me by my name, which is the first name, which is Candace. However, my Islam name is Mariam. I became a new Muslim last Saturday, April 16th, 2011, so I'm almost a week old as far as new Muslims through GuideUS.TV with Yusuf Estes he gave me my Shahada which is my recitation my introduction into accepting Islam now my journey started with religion in general with Christianity back in 1997 when I was turning 20 and basically bottom line I went through a lot of churches and I was non-Trinitarian so I had trouble fitting in being Southern Baptist and all, and Free Will Baptist and all the Baptist, I just researched all of them. So anyways, what brought me to this journey is about a month and a half ago, I was doing general research on people converting to other religions, and I came upon this YouTube clip from The Dean Show with Joshua Evans. And I watched that, and I was so intrigued how he was a youth minister, and a Christian youth minister, and he discovered Islam, and he reverted to Islam. So I went to the main website of the Dean Show, watched a lot of conversion stories, and I'm like, what is it about these Muslims that people want to leave Christianity and go to, you know, Islam or, you know. So I did more research and I was looking at everything from the Messianic Jewish, which I have a Jewish Bible and I'll get into that later. And I looked at the research of Christianity about how we view it today, which I call Pauline Christianity. That means Saul turned Paul taught the opposite of what Jesus taught. And I went back and I took Joshua's advice and I got a red lettered Bible and I read all of what Jesus said, leaving out what the disciples added or supposedly what the disciples has written. Because some people say they didn't even write that. And I went back and I read it and I found out that Jesus is a mighty prophet. Peace be unto him. And the fact that he, what some people put in is that I'm a non-Trinitarian, so he didn't claim to be God, and I'm not going to use my intro to waste time on that. I could use that in other clips. But the fact is, the more I learned about the Christian history, the more I began to go, what am I into? What is this that I'm really following? And I read the Quran. I went to the local mosque, and um, it was a week before. I'm looking at my calendar. It was probably the last week of March, to be exact. It took me nine days to read the Quran. So I remember because I was in the hospital for health issues, which I'm better now, by the way. Praise Allah. And, um, but I was in the hospital, and I was reading the Quran in the hospital as well. And I was only there, like, for less, a little over 24 hours, so, you know. Gave me a little time. But the more I read it, it was just more than poetry. and more than, I mean, obviously, it, it took me to read the Bible three weeks. So you're looking at nine days versus three weeks because it's a smaller book. But what I got out of it is, don't get me wrong, I still have my Bibles and I still do read them. But I get the extended lessons. I get more of the lessons of the prophets out of the Quran. Like, I didn't know this occurred. And the fact that I accept Muhammad as the last prophet, the last messenger. And it just shows me that God could use people. Who are we to judge Allah, who he chooses as prophets, or what he chooses to be in his books? And that was the Roman Catholic Church's mistake, or, or the Nicene Creed 300 years after Christ, when they got all these books together. Who were they to decide? They weren't. They did it on popularity, from what I've read. So moving on, I just mo prayed a lot, and it took me a while to get used to the five prayers a day. I will tell you that, and I'm still getting used to it, but I'm doing it more. And everything that, it's just something you get used to. And a lot opened my eyes, and when I went to a couple of what I call meetings to the, with them um, at my local mosque, I felt tranquility, peace of being in there. And when they did their prayers, though I do not understand a lot of Arabic yet, I was still in tune and one with Allah. It's like I knew what they were saying, but I didn't know what they were saying. It's like I was still with Him. And now that I've been there a couple of times, I'm learning more. Now that I'm reading the translations at home, the English and Quran, now I know what they were saying. So I'm like, okay, I could deal with this. But just being there and 
and that, and also it's just more than a Saturday thing. It's because um, I know they meet on Fridays for prayer, but we also at our local mosque have Saturday classes for Islamic teachings and so forth, and that's the one I'm able to go to. But it's more than just being there during the week. It's also communing at home. It's also taking time to praise Allah at home. And um, that's what I learned through the Quran. So the more I learned about Islam, reading on Islam versus what I learned from the media, the more I accepted that Islam is peace. The Muslims I met are peaceful, though personalities differ. We all have bad days, but they are not like the extremists and the terrorists. They do not support them. And I learned about that, and we have a few bad apples in the Christian churches too, so I'm not going to go there. But it's more at peace, and I couldn't fight it anymore. It's one thing to study about it. It's another thing to finally accept and say, Allah, I'm yours. Whatever you give, I'm yours. And I just surrender all to you. And that's what I did. That's why I took my Shahada. So this is my intro, and before the background is real loud, since it's a holiday today from the kids from school, I'm just going to say, Salam Alikam. And to the non-Muslims looking at this, I just want to say, do your research. And find out the true meaning of the original Christianity versus what you have today. And I will tell you this, in the Jewish Bible, Barnabas was also named Jesus. So there was two people named Jesus. And the question is, who really did they release since there was two people named Jesus? Now the Bible you have today will not tell you that, it will say Barnabas. But if you look at the Jewish Bible, his name is also Jesus. And now Muslims do not say agree with the Christians on him being crucified, and now I see why. Doesn't make Jesus any less. He's still a mighty prophet in my eyes. Peace be unto him. Now I accept all the prophets and Muhammad. So this in closing is if you do the history, please excuse the phone, if you do the history correctly, you will learn that Islam means peace.